What's good, everybody? It's your man, Uncle Saint, in the building. How y'all feeling, man? Happy hump day. I believe it's Wednesday. Wednesday. Um, hey, man, there's something I saw on YouTube that, that, that I've been thinking about. Um, and I wanted to share with you guys my thoughts on this particular topic. And the topic is the American prison system. There's a YouTuber out there who has a, a YouTube channel called 23 and one. So cool dude, real, real good, real good brother. Um, I don't know him personally, of course, but just watching this podcast, he's real passionate about what he talks about. And what he talks about is life on the inside. What prisoners are doing and what's going on within the inner workings of the, the prison systems throughout America. Um, this brother has shared, and, and by brother, I mean, man, he's a good dude, but he, you know, he's a Caucasian guy, I believe. Um, but that that's neither here nor there. I guess so many people get mad at me when I say, he's not a brother, he's not black. We're all brothers and sisters. You know what I mean? We're, we're all of the same DNA, man. I don't care how dark or light your skin is. But with that said, this brother has been locked up a couple times and he said he's been, I believe, in prisons not just like state jails, but I'm pretty sure he's transitioned through that. He's done some time, he's had to sit down, he knows how it works on the inside, and he has this platform, and he explains what goes on in prison, and what these men have to go through. And um, I'm gonna try to link the video that I'm talking about in the description below, I'm gonna try to link it. The brother is talking about the Alabama prison system, I believe it's Alabama. It's either Alabama or Georgia, but I think it was Alabama. Um, it's so bad that the federal government is talking about stepping in and taking over, which they probably should. And he's talking about men who are getting deleted in prison. You, and uh, some of the stories is about inmate on inmate violence, which is a thing but some of the stories are about the guards on inmate violence, which shouldn't happen. The inmate on inmate stuff shouldn't happen. And he's telling the story of a couple uh, inmates who were lost in prison to violence. Their bodies were shipped home after the families, the grieving families made a big stink and they're trying to get the, at least get their body of their loved one home. They get the body home and discover that there are internal organs missing. I couldn't stop thinking about that. I know how corrupt government is. I know how corrupt society is. I know how bad it can get here in America. I grew up, I came up on the streets in the 80s and 90s. I know how corrupt law enforcement can be. We all know how corrupt uh, the court system can be. Prosecutors lying judges in cahoots, people getting locked up for crimes they didn't commit. I understand that. But if there is a black market going on inside the U.S. prison system where they're letting men get deleted and then harvest their organs to sell or whatever, that is a serious problem. And no one's really talking about it. But there are men out there who have these platforms and they talk about what's going on on the inside and 23 and one is one of those platforms. I really, really think you guys should check him out. I highly recommend you go over there and listen to some of these stories. He's not just talking crazy. He's backing it up with, with paperwork. You know, he's backing it up with news articles and documentations from Department of Corrections and stuff like that in federal documents. Y'all need to go over there and check this out. If it is true that Americans who are doing time for crimes that they committed or falling victim to violent crime, losing their lives, and then after the fact, their organs are being harvested and possibly sold on the black market or something like that, bro, that's a serious problem. Our prisons are overcrowded. There are not enough qualified guards and, and uh, staff 
to keep people safe. You know, a lot of times you get locked up on something petty, you wind up going to prison, you come out a real criminal. A lot of people call some of these prisons gladiator school. You go in there and you link up and you network and connect with people all over your state or all over the country. So you go in for some sort of petty crime and you come out the plug. And there is a lot of violence in there. There's a lot of horror stories coming out of our uh, the American penal system and it should not be that way. This is America. Why is it we can't afford to keep these people safe while they serve their time for crimes that they committed? Why is it we're not truly trying to rehabilitate people? Well, the reason is, is money in it. It's always money. So, I don't know. I've just been thinking about it. I'm going to look into this some more. I'm going to see if I can find some documentation, kind of look and see if there's any uh, any reporters jumping on this. And I'm waiting to see if mainstream media picks this up because this is a very serious allegation. And if this is true, we got to do something about it. Anyway, that's all I got to say about that. Let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments below. Um, I appreciate y'all rocking with me, man. We're getting closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers. Hey, man, 2,000 supporters, man. I appreciate y'all, bro. This is uh, this is fun, watching the channel grow. Um, I'm doing my best to learn and, and do the right things and make the right moves to get the channel to grow. And I appreciate y'all checking me out. The YouTube shorts are doing really well. Appreciate y'all comments and everything. And uh, I'm going to talk to y'all later, man. Peace.